This is one elementary mistake every Excel user makes. Let's say, for example, if you want to port data from another worksheet, you're going to say equal, go to the source worksheet, select however many rows you want and press enter on your keyboard. But the takeaway from this is that any blank rows will return a value of zero. The way to get around it is to use something called trim reference. To start off with, we're going to get rid of the row numbering and all you have to do is to add a period or a full stop before the end range and press enter on the keyboard and voila, that blank rows of zeros are gone. Now, if you were to add additional row like that and hit enter, that row will be added to your destination data set. Now, if you don't like this technique, there's another way to do it using a function called trim range. You're going to say equal trim range. And the argument will be source column and press enter on the keyboard. It does the exact same thing. Now, if we were to add a date in here, May 14, go back to your destination data set and that particular extra row or the cell value has been added. Now I'm going to go ahead and add a few more columns in there from the source data set here and maybe add some more numbers in here like that. As you can see, when I add any rows data, that data get updated here. Now, if we're going to calculate the total, there's two ways to do it. One way to do is equal this one plus January. You can do that kind of calculation. Alternatively, you can also use a trim range against your own data set like this as well. Close parenthesis plus trim range and then the February column as well like this. And as you can see, now this one did not have any values in here. That's why this is also producing a cleaner data set.